To mix stone for the perfect impression, you wanna make sure your ratio is correct. So the ratio for to stone to water is about a three fourths of a cup stone to two and a half tablespoons of liquid. This is not the correct measurements because usually you're just going out of the sink, so you're just eyeballing it. When you first start, I would recommend actually measuring it out until you know how the consistency should look. To mix the stone, you're gonna add the water to the powder and you'll realize a little bit of water goes a long way. So if you feel like your mix is a little bit dry, add a little bit of water at a time. So you wanna make sure you get all the bubbles out. So put lots of pressure against the side of the bowl. And the consistency you want is like a kind of a thick, creamy peanut butter. You also want it completely mixed, no powder left in the bowl. So put lots of pressure against the side of the bowl to get all those powder bubbles out. Also the air bubbles cut out when you push it against the side of the bowl. Yeah. This should be the consistency you want. It's kind of thick, it doesn't easily fall off the knife. The next part is you wanna make sure you do get all the bubbles out. So you're gonna place the bowl on the vibrator and put it to the lowest setting. And push down slightly on your bowl. You can also push the bowl together and that'll help get all the bubbles out. A lot of people, they like to use their spatula and they'll try to like pop the bubbles and things. I wouldn't recommend doing that because that's gonna incorporate air into your mixture. So just keep it on there for about 30 seconds till you see all the big bubbles come to the top. And you're done. To pour up an impression, the first thing you wanna make sure you do is cover your vibrator in something, either a bag, saran wrap, tin foil, anything to prevent the stone from drying and caking on there as you pour up your impression. Because you'll notice it is a little bit of a messy process. So the first thing you wanna do is grab your impression in your non-dominant hand and place it on the edge of your vibrator. You're also gonna next use your spatula in your dominant hand. You're gonna start on one side of the U shape of the teeth. Doesn't matter which side, but once you pick a side, you wanna to stay to it. You never add material to a new spot. So you're slowly gonna add just a little dollop, they say about like a quarter size amount, into the tooth and let it flow slowly along the teeth. So you're gonna turn your vibrate onto the lowest setting, add a little bit of material, and have it flow over nice and slow. If you go really fast, you're gonna get bubbles in your cusps. So you're just gonna add a little bit at a time, and watch it flow. they're covered you can add more material and just fill in the rest of your impression and if you really want it to look good and smooth on the top you can dip your finger in a little bit of water and rinse off the top just a bit or you can turn on your vibrator to the lowest setting and just do a little dot and that'll just fill in there's any little hole in between your first layer and your last layer. So when you let it dry, you're just gonna place it on the table and you wanna just make sure you're watching that it isn't dripping on the bottom. There's something called tray lock. So if, you, if the stone goes around the impression that'll, and it dries, it'll lock the impression in place and sometimes it's really hard to separate the two. So as you rest it to set, Kind of just make sure that the, the stone is not wrapping around the tray. Stone takes about 20 minutes to set up and it shouldn't feel hot anymore. So if you feel your impression while it's still in your alginate and it still feels warm, I'd give it about five, 10 minutes to fully set up a little bit more. So now this is completely cold. I'm gonna remove it from the alginate. 
So when you remove it, there's a couple different ways. You don't want to just um, remove it by one side than the other. You want to slowly rock it out. If you just remove one side, you're going to break the teeth on the side that's still in the alginate. So you're going to slowly rock from one quad to the next quad. If you rip the alginate as you're removing it, it's totally fine because the alginate at this point is useless. We're just hoping for a good impression um, with the stone.